Qualcomm. In this video, I want to see how we can use logarithmic differentiation to differentiate a given function. So we, we have two questions A and B, and the question is use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative of a function, that one in A and that one in B. So sometimes it is very expensive to use product rule, to use a chain rule, to use a quotient rule, and other rules that we've discussed. So logarithm, uh, logarithmic differentiation tries to simplify our working. Now, if you have to understand logarithmic differentiation, let me review the rules of logarithms or the laws of logarithms so that you are not left behind when we start using them. So that we have basically three laws that we are going to use. Okay. Now, normally when you are using uh, logarithmic differentiation, we use what we call Nepalian logarithm or natural logarithms or logarithms in this E. Okay. So now, if you have, we will be using a Nepalian logarithm or natural logarithm, meaning if we have in, okay, in of A multiplied by B, using the laws of logarithms, this is equal to in of A plus in of B. The other rule that we are going to use is this one, row number two. If we have in of A over B, this is equal to in of A minus in of B. The third rule that we are going to use when we are using logarithmic differentiation, in of A to the power N, this will be equal to N multiplied by natural logarithm of A. So these are the three rules that you are going to use when you are using logarithmic uh, differentiation. So I'll come to my first question here. We have y is equal to that one. So if we have to use logarithmic differentiation, we use what we call natural logarithm or logarithm in base E. And these are what we are going to be using. These are the laws that we are going to use. So if we have to differentiate this one using logarithmic differentiation, we are going to introduce in both sides. So I'll introduce in here, or natural logarithm here, I'll introduce it, y is equal to in. Then I'll write this function. Okay, now I'm going to expand this using the rules. So if we are multiplying, if we have in A multiplied by B, like we are multiplying, it can be multiplication of A, B, and C, we are going to use this. So it will be in of this plus in of that plus in of that. So I'm going to use the first law of logarithms to expand that. So this will be in y is equal to in x minus 1 squared plus, remember it should be plus, it should be plus here, in x plus 1, 3, plus in x plus 3 to the power 4. So once I do that, I need now to use law number 3 so that this one here can come this side. So that these, the powers will come here, and this will come here, and this will come here. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do in the next step. Okay, so we are here. The next thing that we are going to, use, uh, to do is to use rule number 3 so that we can bring these powers down there. So this will be in y is equal to this will come here using rule number three in x minus one plus this power will come here using rule number three in x plus one and this four will come here from power three i mean from rule number number three so here this four will come here so we're going to have four in x plus 3. 
The next thing that we are going to, to do now is to differentiate. Now we have to differentiate with respect to x both sides. Okay, so I'm going to differentiate here. We know that if I have in x, y is equal to this, dy over dx is equal to 1 over x. Okay, again I'll, I'll differentiate this x which will be multiplied by one using chain rule. So this is what we are going to use. Okay, this is what we are going to use. So I'm going to use this concept to differentiate this. Now, I have to differentiate both sides. So I'll differentiate here. In y, this will be 1 over y. But using implicit differentiation, whenever we differentiate y, we have to put dy over dx. We have to attach dy over dx. So this is equal to, this will be 2. Then when I differentiate this one, it will be 1 over this. So this will be like that. Again, I have to differentiate here using chain rule. This will be multiplied by 1. Then plus, this will be 3 over this, x plus 1. Then multiplied by 1, plus 4 over x plus 3. Then this whole thing multiplied by 1. So what we are going to have is 1 over y dy over dx is equal to 2 over x minus 1 plus 3x plus 1 plus 4 over x plus 3. Now we are looking for dy over dx and not this. So we have to eliminate this one y. So I will multiply with the multiplicative inverse of 1 over y, which will be y. So I will multiply with y both sides. Multiply with y here. So this will simplify. I'm going to have dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 1 plus 3x plus 1 plus 4 x plus 3 then multiplied by y now at this point I know the value for y the value for y from a is this one so whenever there is y I'm going to replace this one and I'll be done with the calculation so at this point now I have to replace the value for y whenever there is y now we know that the value for y is this one so dy over dx becomes 2 over x minus 1 plus 3 over x plus 1 plus 4 over x plus 3. Then the value for y is this one. So I'm going to replace it there. This will be x minus 1 squared x plus 1 plus 3. Then x plus 3 power 4 and this will be our dy over dx but this was going to be more expensive if we had used maybe product true or chain rule okay so this is how you do logarithmic differentiation you introduce natural logarithms uh, both sides then you use the three laws of logarithms to simplify then at the end of the day you follow this particular procedure so, this is how you do uh, logarithmic uh, differentiation. You're going to introduce natural logarithms, both sides. Then you use the three laws of logarithms to simplify. Then when you simplify, you're going to differentiate both sides. But there will be a point where you're going to end up with some y here. You're going to replace with the value for y. But always remember, whenever you are differentiating, you have, whenever you are using natural logarithms to do your differentiation, you have to use those three laws that I've already reviewed in the introduction of this video. So for this and more videos, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've left this one for your practice. I'll do it in the next video. Thank you for watching.